Hello, this is NY Hunter, and I am coming to you with Iron Factory's EX30 Darkness Cygnus, or who we would know more uh, as uh, Jetfire from the Shattered Glass uh, universe. Yeah, as you can see, the colors are just awesome. Um, black, purple, some green, a lot like the Hasbro version coming out of Jetfire uh, with the same color scheme. Um, really excited for that one too. So without further ado, let's pop this guy open and see what's inside. Okay, we are back and he is in robot form. As you can see, the colors are very cool in purples, blacks, and greens, as said before, matching up very nicely with the Hasbro version. Um, funny enough, he came with these closed fist hands attached to him. That's kind of strange, uh, if you ask me, because he does come with this double barrel weapon, and you'd think that any buyer who gets one of these would want to put it in the hand. But... It, it did come with closed fists and so I had to change those out and one thing to notice is the right side I don't know if it's everybody else's too but on mine it's a bit loose uh, and not only that but the right elbow is a bit loose too so but it's funny if you press down on the elbow joint in just a certain way uh, it tightens up a bit at least on the elbow but not the fist so if the arm hangs down the fist and the gun will stay but you know, it can be shaken loose. Let me see, I don't want to shake it loose actually, but I'll just fold it down so you guys can see. Okay, but actually I can even show you here. Let's see. Yep, see, it comes right up. So the other fist on the right, on the left side is better. So, shouldn't have that issue there. What else? Oh, let's bring them up close and take a look at the colors. So we've got these nice golds. Oops, 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 golds in the face. I love that purple up here too. These jet engines on the back. We've got green there and the backs actually fold out uh, right here. Uh, these fold out into cannons looking uh, face forward, which is great. And look at this backpack. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Look at this backpack. Um, it looks and resembles a lot like the Robotech Vartech fighters and um, brings back a lot of memories of that, the original Jetfire, um, Macross series, etc. And um, let's see, and along with the other armor as well, you see the arm armor here and the legs here. Oops, right here. And they can all come off. So that brings back the uh, a lot of G1 and Robotech memories. Uh, very cool, I'd say. Uh, but um, should he be a robot of his very own? Hmm, I guess not. All right, uh, jury's out on that one. But yeah, let me get those cannons out and let you take a look at that as well. All right, we're back again. So I went away to get the cannons out because I thought that I'd actually um, have to use this before to pop those cannons out here and here. And that is because um, when I was trying to play around with them before, when I got them out of the box, I actually tried to flip these out because I love the green. Don't you love that green? But um, I love that green and I tried to flip it out to get a look at it and I could not do it with my fingers. And I found out that's because when this is folded back, it extends under here. I already flipped out these doors, but uh, this part also bends forward so you can get those cannon pieces out, which is great. Um, it's very helpful. I didn't need this at all. Uh, as you know, I have it, but I don't like to use it. The engines, the engines are movable as well. They move up uh, left and right, which is awesome. Um, I, ju I just love the armor. Um, it's just really cool. Let me show you the cannons really quick. Uh, zoom out a little. And so let's get a closer look at that. You see those shoulder cannons. And um, I, I don't, want to probably display them this way because I like the G1 aspect with them flipped out 
but I want to show you the mechanism. Okay, so this part flips back this way. Oh, and you got to open this door too. Okay, so this part flips back like this, hides in here, and then closes up like that. So you can see, um, in a closed manner, it's up and down, short, the green is basically hidden, um, but it looks very much more G1, very much more subdued. Um, let me flip this one back too. Let's see, am I in center there? Yep, yep, okay. And then so you can see it flips back like that and um yeah as you can see oh look at this the engines the engines can uh this one's a little tighter than the other but you can move back and forth and you know just like you'd expect a space jet to be able to do to control its its direction with its engines so once again to pull these out though very easy to do once you flip this down uh, like I said, I thought I'd have to pick these out, but look, boop, and this gets flipped out and flipped down. So, and then you close the door, of course, but um, yeah, I like this way better. I'm going to put this back right now. Okay. So, that is the way he looks. And it's just really, really nice. Don't you think? I want to know your opinions too. My comment section has been a little quiet lately, and I really love these Legends characters coming out right now. As you can see, I have a little display over there for some of them too, um, behind Metroplex. But um, man, um, they're just very, very cool, and uh, they got me uh, really excited for our third parties and what's coming out. But in any case, that's enough jibber jabber. Let's transform them and see what it looks like in jet mode. Oh yeah, here's a little scale and size comparison of Dark Cygnus with a couple other guys. Um, as you can see, he's one of the larger of the bunch. Um, expected or unexpected? I don't know. But um, yeah, we've got Jazz there, Ratchet, and Ultra Magnus. And um, he is just about, just a little bit shorter than Ultra Magnus. And this is the cost performance ultra magnus supposedly a larger one a little bit a little bit larger than um magic square so um if that's right he, that's why he's taller and then over here we got some of the hasbro regular characters um we got sandstorm and we got oh i forgot his name the sparkless spot that's his name yep and so we've got a couple back there um so yeah, um, he's pretty big for a legend. And um, and oh yeah, there's a stand too over here. I put it together for later. Um, we'll see. We'll see how he looks. Let's keep going. Transformation time. Hey you guys, I'm back and we're gonna try to do a transformation video for you. Gonna zoom out a little bit and see how it all works out. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna, let's see, um, yeah. For the ease, I'm just gonna take his hand off. As I told you before, it's a bit loose. Um, let's see, for the future, just to get ready, we're gonna do this. His front landing gear is built into the gun. So in case I forget, yell at me or remind me to put this underneath the front end later. All right, so that's done. Let's put this back over here. Okay, as you can see, the right hand was a bit loose. Um, it's not gonna fall off necessarily without the gun, but it is a bit loose and that's kind of sad. Okay, so let's see, let's get going here. Uh, first thing we'll do is take off the arm cannons because we've got to flip the direction of those around. So let me see. This is the first time I'm going to, well, after uh, after my um, Overlord videos, by the way, in which I showed you the transformation. Um, this is the first time I'm going into transformation on other videos, so forgive me if it's not the best in the world. I'm also trying a new setup here to make things a little bit cleaner, cleaner looking. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, I'm a little bit out of place as far as 
where I'm standing. Uh, all right, and what I'm seeing. So uh, we got that. Um, let's see. Uh, while we're here, let's put in the hands. Uh, all these figures seem to hide the hands, and so we're just gonna do that now. Oops, okay. Uh, yeah, open this. Put this in there. Close her up. And then over here. And pop it open. Ay -ay -ay. Okay, yeah, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, yes we can. Okay, we got it open. Plug it in. Close them up. And that's it there. Oh, you know what? While we're here also, uh, doing it logically, let's do the arms as well. You'll see the um, joints here, the shoulder, shoulder joints. We can pull those apart now. Um, let's see, yep. So, let's see. That here okay and then it's gonna end up being on the other side and it's gonna be down here so let's see here got that um, yep. got, got that okay um, we'll just leave that there for now um let's work on the head I love that face sculpt, don't you? Look at that. Okay. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna tilt this head back a bit. And we're gonna work on this panel here. I'm gonna flip it out. And leave it up like this for now. And then move his head back. Uh, so we can turn this. Um, or not turn this, but flip this, yep, like that. We're gonna leave it like this for now, because after I move the jet engines here, uh, we'll have to tuck this in on top right there. Um, yeah, let's, let's just leave that for now. All right, let's move to the legs. Um, straighten those out. Okay. The bane of my existence is if I forget to straighten legs out before transforming, because I know they're not going to clip together, right? Um, okay, let's tuck these toes in. Oh yeah, tuck the toes, tuck the toes. You can see the foot already starting to tilt in, which I don't want to do yet. But yeah, we've got the toes tucked in. Ah, uh, off camera, sorry. And then. Gonna do the other one on this side, hopefully it'll clear for you guys. Okay. And then yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. So as I'm holding the back, this flip down also. So this flips and kind of grabs up here. Same with the other side. So let's see if we can do that right now. Okay. Um side view? Side view better? Uh let's see. Leg up. Okay. Um, yeah, gotta put your thumb like here and then flip this. You see that? You see that pop up? And then it's gonna go, this will tilt this way and this will tilt in. Uh, yeah, like that. Okay, so it's flat. Okay, so you got one and then over here. I'm gonna, like I said, put your thumb here, and then this. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry for this. I actually should have mentioned. Yep. Okay. We got this on here now. But um, yeah, I really like the armor pieces so much that I wanted to try transform him without taking anything off. But these can come off as a, I'll show you a picture of the box later and um, you'll see that. And these engines can come off too. The strange thing is it comes with the wings. So you'll see the, you'll see the purple below the wings. So this whole chunk is one piece and it pops off with the wings. <laughs> So I actually want to leave this all on anyway, because when I transform him normally, I will never take that back piece off anyway. But while we're here, let's uh, move this down. See, the whole thing slides. 
And like I said, it's uh, it's got the wings included. So if you do take it off, you'll see. Oh, can I take it off? Let's see for you guys. Yep, okay, you'll see that it's a peg on this side and wings here uh, along with the guns and the engines here. So, um, yeah, it doesn't make it any easier or harder to transform, I think, but um, yeah, I like it slid all the way up here and we'll plug it back in here. All right, so as I said, um, let's move to the legs and we're going to take these and move these, open these, and then combiner wars the legs. Combiner wars the legs. Okay, and then tuck in these. Okay, once again, just check on these that they're set the right way. They don't seem to clip in as far as these pieces, so just gotta make sure they're the right way. Oh, and then you see these tabs on the engines, they do have in to the legs right here. So we got the legs together. Should we try to do that now? Okay. Yep. They do go in with a little click if you've got it right. Alright, so let's see. Upside down. I don't know a good way to view this there, but you did you alright, I'm gonna be quiet on this side. Can you hear the click? Maybe it's too quiet, but anyway, all right, we've got this set. And then as I said, we got the backpack all the way back now. So let's flip this down and kind of tuck this in like that. See? And then it kind of fills in this space here. The head is underneath. So we're gonna tilt that up like that. And then, oh yeah, this part's pretty hard, I think. I've only transformed him once, but I feel like this joint is so tight. Uh, I got it. I got to push together really tightly and then unfold that and then it'll click and then unfold this and it'll click and we're almost done. We're almost done. We've got the arms here and um, yeah, so this we want to put a little more sideways. Uh, let's see. Hold this and move this out perhaps. And then when we fold it this way, there's a tab here and it goes in right here. So let's do that now. Okay. And then this as well. I'm gonna fold here and press in and then bring this, the ball, the arm or shoulder out. Okay. And then we got that nice and flat. And then here too, we got these together. Okay, I think so. Okay, um, yep. And then let's, you can see, we got the silhouette right there. It's really nice. And then bring the wings however far back you'd like. Straighten these out. Bring the wings however far back you'd like. Straighten them out. Mm, try and keep them pretty even. Okay, I think it looks good, right? All right, and then we're gonna put, um, yeah, let's put this back on first. So you see the gun has a thick handle and a thin handle. That thin handle goes into that hole right there. So let's do that right there. Nice, nice. And then, yep, satisfying click. And then these, wheels come like this out of his legs and then um, can sit pretty pretty nicely uh, but we want to put these back on his arms so let's put that on here this way and I find these like I said you saw how the other one was so tight they're pretty mm, pretty tight when you get them in there so I'm going to just leave them a little bit loose like this, but that looks real nice. Looks real nice. And then these things can come out like, like before as well, but I really like it this way. I like his armor. Let's push the legs together a little more. I like the armor, like the stripes, like the colors, like the wings. 
Oh my gosh. All right, let me pause it and get the turntable and then we'll see him again. All right, and here he is on the turntable, spinning around for us and look at that green, purple and silver. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. I don't think there's a better color scheme than this ever, is there? Um, in any case, it just looks so cool. Saw the three jet engines back there along with these two silver ones. Just a really sweet jet mode. The cannon right there, really nice. And um, how it's part of the lower landing gear or front landing gear. Um, the wings fold out, extend just nicely, really good. And um, let's see, anything we can see this way. Uh, look at that, that green, I love it. Uh, the underbelly too is very well taken care of, I think. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Um, yeah, the underbelly too, like I said, is very nicely taken care of. Um, I'll, I'll do this because we can. Um, but yeah, let's extend the cannons too. Um, let's see. Move this. Move this. And then fold this just that little bit. So you can get some thumbs and a finger here and then straighten that back out and then we've got that i don't know it doesn't look cool uh, let's do that it's awesome that we have this built in and uh i thank iron factory for doing it um it's not one of my favorite looks because you know it's not it doesn't really i don't know maybe it's too long but you be the judge if you get one too, it's your call, it's not my call, so. But yeah, as it comes around again, we're gonna see those long silver and green cannons. Um, green is my favorite color, I think. Green one, anyway, but yeah, but it's, um, I just love that shade. It's just so cool. What do you think? Um, let me see. Other than this, um, I think that is all. Oh, wait, wait, we, have, we do have one more thing. We have the stand also over here. So let me get that going. And let's take a look on the turntable as well. All right, here we have it on the turntable and its stand. And uh, I think it looks dang good, if I can say that. Um, yeah, look at that. The cannons are extended. It's going up, gaining altitude, ready for action. Pretty cool. You can imagine those cannons firing, those energy blasters blasting. Oh man, really good luck. I love that some of these companies are giving you stands. It's just really nice. Shows some forward thinking and just uh, making it easier for your customers to show off some cool figures. All right, but well, that's it. Um, uh, do you want to see it with the cannons closed? I do. Okay, let me get this. Um, one second. Ah. Oh yeah, it was always a little difficult uh, just because you never know where to plug in the stand, right? So uh, I'll show you that before we sign off this review. Mm. But um, as I was saying, uh, sometimes it's hard to find where to put the stand. It came with this big chunky piece too. So it was like, hmm, I wonder where, but um, knowing or seeing that this part needed to be between something and this part looked like a cradle for something, um, of course got me looking in the middle. And at first I was trying to plug it in up here, but it wouldn't fit anywhere. So finally uh, seeing the legs split and putting it in here and then uh, tucking in that little gap into the gun right here seemed to be just right. So we got that here again. And once again, in my preferred form with those energy weapons folded in, uh, this is um, Skyfire, Jetfire, <laughs> Darkness, Cygnus. Um, or Shattered Glass, Jetfire, however you want to call him. He's awesome. And uh, that's all for now. 
I think I'll be signing off, and that's all we can talk say about him at the moment. Any comments? Uh, any love for this guy? Uh, please uh, write below. Um, this is NY Hunter, and I'm signing off. If you like, please thumbs up. Please subscribe. It was a joy bringing it to you. And um, yeah, be safe out there. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Be safe out there. It's a dangerous time, and I wish you all well. All right, have a great one. See you next time.